Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to go through the October 2023 Pure Mathematics P1 paper from Edexcel, uh, the WMA1101 um, syllabus. And this question is a, or this, this particular paper is one and a half hours long. I'm going to go through the questions one by one, saving each video as a separate file so that I can include the videos in playlists involving the topic as well as this paper and um, that comes in useful later on now i'm not going to just read through the mark scheme and write the answers down that's not the way i deal with things here i prefer to explain in some detail sometimes sometimes i have a particular question that a student has asked me in my mind when i'm answering sometimes i just want to make sure that students understand things in a proper way so it might not be suitable for you if you're just looking for the mark scheme uh, but if you're trying to learn the basics and foundations of some of these topics then it might be more suitable suited to your needs so starting with question number one straight away it says given that y equals 5x cubed plus 3 over x squared minus 7x where x is greater than 0 find in simplest form dy dx so part a find dy dx that's simply just differentiating this expression before we differentiate we're going to prepare it for differentiation so we have 5x cubed now this is going to be written as 3 times x to the power of negative 2 using the law of indices that 1 over something to the power of something like this can be written as a negative power okay so you have a to the power of negative n is 1 over a to the power of n reciprocal all right that's from the laws of indices and then you've got minus 7x now it's ready to be differentiated so when we differentiate this we get dy dx is equal to multiply by the power that's 15 x squared multiply by the power take one from the power here multiply by the power so you have minus 6 x take one from the power so it becomes a minus 3 and the x term basically you just drop the x it just drops because actually 7 x to the power of 1 that's what this actually means when you multiply the, by the power you get 7 and when you take one from the power you get x to the power of 0 which is just 1 anyway so that's dy dx now the second thing they ask us to found, find is d squared y dx squared what does that mean it just means differentiate dy dx what it means is take dy dx take dy dx and differentiate with respect to x that's why it's, it's like this d squared y dx squared that's why it has that kind of look to it so we're going to take dy dx which we have already written in its form here which we can differentiate easily now and we've got to differentiate this one more time okay so um, if you differentiate this you get d squared y dx squared is equal to multiply by the power that's 30 x to the power of one take multiply by the power take one from the power that's going to be positive 18 x to the power of negative 4 and then you differentiate a constant it becomes zero any did any constant differentiated becomes zero um, you can think of it in two ways like the function y equals minus seven is just a horizontal line which has a zero gradient so the gradient function of this will be zero or you can think of it as minus seven x to the power of zero okay that's what minus seven is equal to multiply by the power the whole thing becomes zero so you end up with d squared y dx squared and that's the answer to this question you can leave it like this you could also in the end if you want to you can leave it as 30x plus 18 over x to the power 4. That's correct. That's correct. Both of them are considered fine. Similarly here, we could have written this as dy dx equals 15x squared minus 6 over x cubed minus 7. Both of those are fine. Okay. And I think that's the answer to part question number one. That com completes question number one. Very simple. Just differentiating something and differentiating it once more. A uh, pretty straightforward, uh, nice opening question. Um, other questions from this particular paper uh, can be found in the playlist that we'll be um, displaying at the end of the video here. There will be a link to it there. Any uh, other questions dealing with differentiation from P1 of um, Edexcel, you can find over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And the video here will tell you how to navigate my channel to find my other material from IGCSE material, from Cambridge material as well. Um, so thank you for watching and to see you soon.